This was actually designed in Malaysia. Yup, those robots you see at Amazon's warehouses? This Malaysian company is engineering something similar in Cyberjaya. Wow, oh, these must be the robots. Very cool. I wonder if they can carry me. Oh, yes, technically, but for safety reasons, we shouldn't do that. I see. Are you the master behind these robots? Yes, I'm the managing partner of Dallas Robotics. I like to think of myself as an engineer, but most of my guys say, no, they yeah, understand. <laughs> so what exactly does Dallas Roboter do? We specialize in designing AMR, which is a short form for autonomous uh, mobile robot to be used in industrial purposes. So you can see people like Amazon, Walmart, or 7-Eleven is running a lot of AMR. So even in Malaysia, you have all the pharmaceutical companies Companies. You want to give it a try? Yeah, I would love to. We now crown you as the wow. master of the robots. Thank you, thank you. Point at any of these request command and then press the button, just like an Iron Man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. They've almost got like little faces. It's so cute. <laughs> we have a client in the States that use this robot to replace material transfer to the line. In the past, they used forklift driver to carry all this stuff. To them, there is a lot of safety hazard in it. And these are very compact as well. Yes. One of these little guy can carry about a thousand kilograms. Okay, <laughs> so it can definitely carry me. <laughs> I can carry 10 me. Wow, we're living in the future. How does it feel to be the master of the robots? Interesting, I feel like I have a superpower. So imagine if you're a forklift driver, you don't do step down and press yeah, the button. Yeah, okay, so you, you just go. You sit in your forklift and like, hey, come and pick up the stuff. We design mm. a pickup point and drop-off point for customers. They will follow exactly how you plan them to be. Right, so they're not going to like take over the company. They're not like teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone's in the way of that robot. When the robots see an obstacle, so either it replan or it do an obstacle avoidance. In this case, there's no other route they can take, so it does a replanning. I see. This is what we normally show our customer, but if you want to look at the juicy stuff, I'll bring you to the back end. Please. Okay, let's check it out. So this is where the magic happens. Yeah, a lot of toys for our guys here. <laughs> What's this? Oh, this is also one of our product. This is a polishing robot that actually specializes in polishing marbles and tiles. Uh, okay, so this will always be clean. Uh, yes, yes, hopefully. <laughs> This is where we do the application design and mechanical design. So before we build our robots or build any mechanical design, normally we will do some 3D printing to test out the design. I see. And what's that being printed right now? This is the exact replica of the robot that you see in oh, our tech center. Okay. These are not functional units, They're purely for engineering studies. Probably we have a design change, or we change the cover, or we want to put new components inside. We just print it out to see the feed and stuff like that. All right, so what's actually happening over here? This is where we produce our prototypes. Let me you a sample. Ooh, okay. We design most of the boards that we use our product ourselves. Engineers being engineers, we want to design and build everything that we right. use. Yeah, there's some pride there. Well, there's a lot of things to learn, you know. Typically, they'll burn something. <laughs> when they burn something, which means they become a mature they engineer. Graduated. They graduated. <laughs> yes, they graduated, yes. Has he burned anything? Well, have you burned anything? <laughs> well, maybe we stop distracting him so he doesn't cause any fires now. We were wondering if Dallas Roboter is from the US, because, you know, the name. But how did they end up in Malaysia? Uh, one of the business trips that I have in my past job, I realized that the opportunity for us is really in the States. And Dallas being the fastest growing city in US today, right? So we decided to base ourselves in Dallas. Dallas is actually our sales and engineering center. You know, customers related support, sales, engineering application. But we need a place to develop our software and put our core design team. We decided to come back here and explain the obvious. So why Cyberjaya of all places? Cyberjaya is one of the hidden gems in the Klang Valley. It probably has the best infrastructure, modern amenities among all the townships around Klang Valley. They also have a lot of good schools, good access to new talents and the proximity to the airport because we mainly serve uh, overseas customers. We have a lot of people visiting our business partners, our customers. The cost that we paid uh, when we were hosting in Cyberjaya is very minimum. They, being the master developer of Cyberjaya, you know, try to look into it and help us to fulfill our requests. Yeah. Uh, connection, the introduction, uh, publicity, they uh, try to support us in many, any way they can. Mm -hmm. And do you guys still work with like Cyberview now? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Because we are doing a development center here. So currently we're working with them to identify potential test customers. For example, for the polishing robot that they have just seen, yeah. you probably want to get the MPS or one of the Makama you know, to test it. Okay. Yeah. Dallas Robot is only about a year old, but they've already expanded overseas and are growing their team. When I asked them, one thing they're consistently looking for in their new hires is... And be a good team player and communicate openly with the rest of the team. Can collaborate with the team. We want to look for motivated colleagues to join us. They can collaborate with each other. So that was really cool getting to see what Dallas Roboter does as well as meet the people behind the creations. It's so cool to know that these robots are being designed right here in Malaysia. So we want to thank Cyberview for giving us the opportunity to observe and understand the team and we can't wait to see what they innovate next. <laughs>